and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Winner, guys. I'm going to go over what you need to be doing with your coins right now, guys. I am back. I'm ready. Got the coin stack back up, guys. I'm super hyped to be back from vacation. These are going to be one of my three videos you're going to be seeing today, my comeback vids. I'm super hyped to be back, guys. Not going to lie, it was cool at first. I love the vacation. One of the most fun times I've ever had in my life. But not being able to do YouTube for seven days really sucked. It was, I was, like, so institutionalized and, like, used to doing YouTube on a daily basis. It felt weird, like, super weird this whole trip. I wasn't entirely sure how the channel was going to do what we were going and it, but it kind of did how I kind of assumed for the next bet. Channel fell off a little bit. It, it's, it's kind of in a bad spot right now. Hopefully, we can get it back to going, guys. So, the best way to get the channel booming again and to help me reach this goal of 20k by the end of February is to just comment down below, smash that like button. Can we get 500? Can we get 1,000 likes in this video, guys? If you're Noti Gang and you and you, you came as one of the first 1,000 viewers, I'm telling you guys, if you guys bang out these likes and this all this for the next few days, we're going to get the channel right back up to going. And hopefully, we can finish this Madden year out strong because obviously the peak of madden ends probably around end of march so get another solid two and a half months left let's keep it going guys let's keep it grinding out and hopefully get some momentum going to Madden 21 so let's keep it going let's get into this video make sure to subscribe as well turn that noti bell now first thing i'm doing guys you see i have gotten the coin stack up you guys were always you guys were complaining that i had no coins i have things in my binder i just don't sell them now the first thing you guys want to do i think this is a prime time for one thing this isn't the, the, the video but this is one of the things i think it's prime time to go ahead and start binder cleaning a little bit now things are in a weird spot certain things are higher than usual so philip rivers prior to this sold for like 60k right now he didn't change too much he did not change too much at all now there's other cards that have went up because of the sets so remember certain cards because of sets have went up just took a 74k now these are just themed diamonds but the point is that there's value to be had in my binder. By the way, this is this is this is half and half me telling you this, as well as me going over that. You guys thought I was like broke. Team of the week cards, 87 over on Nigel Bradham. 27, 27, really like 36k. I have tons of value in my binder, so I think it's time I start going through this. Now, certain cards went up because of the sets. Now, the sets I'm referring to are over in the team of the year sets. Now, you guys probably already know this. I mean, I'm just going over what I, I mean. This is my first day back, so I'm kind of just picking up on what I'm seeing right now. Team of the year sets right here. The team of the year offense requires 87 to 88, 88 to 89, 91 to 92, 91 92, and 93 94. So those players alone have a specific value. Now remember, they were higher earlier in the week. Team of the year cards have come down a little bit, which means these cards as well has come down. It really just all depends on the price of the team of the year cards. Now, as far as team of the year fantasy pack, this one requires 13 team of the week players spanning up all the way to 93 overalls well 88 9 to 93 which most people probably should go with 89s but when you click on to these 89 overall players go for about 53k which isn't horrible which makes this set about 50k 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 so that's like 250k and let's see give or take about 250 let's go with like 20k each 270 290 mm, 310 330 34 350 it looks like the set's probably going to cost you around 380k. Now, is it the most worthwhile set? I couldn't entirely tell you because you'd have to pull one of the best things to really make your value back there. But people do, in fact, open them. YouTubers do open them, which means that you can still binder clean just as well. I probably have about a million coins sitting in my binder. I got to go clean that out, get the, get the coin stack back up, get ready to go because I have some things to be doing with my coins. Now, guys, what I'd recommend right now, you guys are probably wondering, right? As far as team of the year, are they worth buying at this exact moment? I'll tell you the ones I think are worth buying at this moment. I'll tell you the ones I think are worth waiting on. So as far as buying at this moment, you got to go all the way down. Now, the ones that I really think are worth buying, let's actually filter this out by team of the year. Oh, by the way, actually, before I tell you that, I think it's time to start checking out some of these ghosts of the past cars. Now, here's the thing. Michael Vick, I think it's time you should start selling him and cashing your coins out for Michael Vick. Now, don't sell him for 404. You can wait till tonight. Put him up for like 420, 430. So at least you make most of what you would have lost here back in reduction down to like 400K. Close to 4, 390, 400 clean. Now, there's a reason for this. First off, the Kansas City Chiefs are now in the Super Bowl. And I, if the Chiefs win, it's almost a 90% chance that Mahomes gets the MVP. Mahomes is a stack guy. And not that he's not a good quarterback. He's the best quarterback probably in the NFL. But he is also a guy that racks up numbers. And I promise you, in a Super Bowl that Mahomes wins, he probably ends up with 300 yards and three to four touchdowns. 
and it's, it's probably MVP. And now, if the 49ers win, forget it then, but the MVP of the league is going to probably be uh, Russell Wilson. It's going to be Lamar Jackson. So either way, in the upcoming next week and a half, we pro or two weeks, I should say, within the next week, we'll probably have a potentially, we probably will definitely have a 99 Lamar Jackson, as well as a 99 Mahomes. One of the others happening. Well, one's definitely happening. Both of them happening. A slimmer chance, but it's possible. Which would mean that Michael Vick would definitely lose a lot of value because Lamar would overtake him as the best mobile quarterback, as well as Mahomes might be the best overall quarterback in Madden if he comes out. So just telling you guys that. And the Madden Pass guys as well, they have went up a lot. Bo Jackson's at like 380, I believe, a lot of these guys. So now the reason they went up, I did warn you guys this before I left. I told that team of the year, if they weren't going to drop a running back better than Bo Jackson and then his price would have went up, because people were expecting him to come down a little bit, but he's not going. He wasn't going to come down because he's still the best running back. Now, Super Bowl promo, NFL honors has the potential to drop some similar. Now, here's the thing: I don't know if they'll drop a better running back. Super Bowl promo, unless they drop like a Terrell Davis, like a 95 speed or something. Bo Jackson might be the best running back still beyond, or at least tied for the best running back beyond the Super Bowl promo and beyond the NFL honors. So he won't come down quite a. He won't come down a lot going into this, but he will come down a little bit. I think we'll probably stay around the same. Now, if you guys want to pre-sell Bo Jackson, that's probably more the first week of February, in my opinion. Everything else, you guys can start working on, because these will be overtaken. Marvin Harrison, Mel Blunt, it's already happening. They're pretty high value, considering what cards have been coming out. I think Super Bowl will probably send them down the gutter a little bit. But back to the team of the year now. As far as what you should be doing with your coins with team of the year players, I don't think they're all sells. I don't. These cards are pretty cheap already. Like, these cards are really cheap for 95 overalls. You can do what you feel. These are specialist cards. End of the day, if you have them, you probably really like these guys, or they fit into your team. The guys are going to worry about, because those guys are already cheap, they're not going to come down too much. The guys are going to worry about the 96-97s. Now, if we look at the 96-97s, a lot of great cards here. Guys like Calais Campbell, I don't think are a, I don't think they're keepers. Now, the speed's way too slow. You can get, we can do a lot better with a lot more athleticism at that position with the right chems. I don't think he's a keeper. Michael Thomas, another guy, I don't think he's a keeper. Speed's too low. McCole Hard, I'd rather have McCole Hardman. Like, it, I, as much as I love, I love Michael Thomas for life, I really do. But he's just not comparable to like a lot of these other wide receivers or speed wide. Like I've had, like I, I, I'm, I'm losing words here. I've had better receivers. I've had receivers from two months ago with higher speed. It's, I don't know why they underrate him. Michael Thomas is super athletic in real life. They really underrate him. Nick Chubb, another guy. I don't think he's a keeper. Speed's too slow. The linemen are fine. Like Ryan Jensen, all these linemen are really, really good. No problem with the linemen. If you want to keep your linemen, that's fine. They will come down in value a little bit. But the Super Bowl promo typically doesn't produce linemen, and the NFL Honors does not produce a lot of linemen. So you're going to be okay in that sense. I'm telling you guys, you, if you if you buy linemen now like I did last year, you're going to be okay. So you're not going to lose a lot of value initially because Super Bowl promo, like I said, they're not going to release a whole set of linemen and NFL Honors for either. So until the next big promo, you're probably okay. So linemen are fine. Shadavius White's a beast. I didn't, Honestly, I think he's kind of a keeper. But let me know how he plays, though, because the jumping is definitely going to be controversial. But other than that, he is a very beastly cornerback. So he's definitely probably one of the keepers. Casey Hayward, speed's too slow. I don't think he's a keeper. I'd rather have my Nitro in lane. DeAndre Hopkins, too slow again. I love DeAndre Hopkins. I think he's gonna, I think he's amazing, but I, too slow considering like after the Super Bowl promo, we're gonna be at literally after the Super Bowl promo, we're gonna be at like 99 speed receivers. Like that's gonna be that point where like you're gonna have at least three of them. Not after, after NFL honors, right? Going into like that February stretch, we're gonna have all 99 receivers as far as speed. So definitely gonna be hard to use him. Minka, I still think the move is Sean Taylor there. So I don't think his value is going to hold. A lot of these guys have value because they're team of the year cards. Once we get to the next promo, it's who's going to stay at a high value. I don't think these cards will. Joel, I'm telling you the ones that will, though. Joel Batonio should still be fine. Grady Jarrett's defensive tackle. He's not going to lose too much. Although the you know, super promo might get us like a mean Joe Green, which might overtake him. Although we did get one for NFL 100. You never know. George Kittle, going to be fine. You can get him because his run blocking is so great. That he's gonna retain value. He's, he's gonna be one of the better ones because although Tony Gonzalez is a better tight end, does they run heavy meta? And the fact you can have a guy who's like a lineman and with a zone run have like and zone run powered up, he's gonna have a 90 run blocking. So it's like having an extra left tackle or right tackle on either side while also be able to play similar to Tony Gonzalez. He's gonna he's George Kittle's gonna be fine. Might even be better than uh Tony Gonzalez at this point. Again, linemen are fine. Now the guys that I I mean you guys can have Jamal Adams if you want. You guys people really like Jamal Adams, he's great and all. But I have Tillman, and he's free. So from a budgety, no money spent standpoint, definitely don't get Adams. But he should retain value for a while. Although Pat Tillman should be getting upgrades pretty soon. So it's kind of tough. I mean, once Pat Tillman gets the upgrades, he will be better than Adams. But Adams can always play in the box. He still has some value. There's value to be had for more competitive players and how to do all that. Now, the guys that I think are going to retain value are Aaron Donald. But Aaron Donald should not be this expensive. That's the thing. 
Aaron Donald's not gonna lose a lot of value. I think he's more of a 410 guy, right? I think he's more of a 410K kind of um, end, because he's end game. He's true for the end game. He's got the speed, he's got the athleticism, he's got the strength. Pretty much chemmed up, maxed up, and maxed out, and everything. He's gonna have 99 strength, 99 power move, 99 block shot. He's end game, right? That's it. Like, you can have this guy for the end of the year. That is why he's so good. So, you could pay whatever. He's, he's, he's worth the price, is what I'm trying to say. Like, no matter what you pay for him, he's gonna be worth it because he can be there on the team. He's gonna be a guy, like, once I put him in my team, he's probably there for the rest of the year. So, he's end game. Russell Wilson close to end game i don't think he's quite there yet because lamar jackson the next lamar jackson card is going to have like a nine like a plus 10 speed almost chemmed up maxed up with a better probably throw power similar throwing stats better throwing pressure and similar throw to the run so you're gonna have a similar card next time around except he's gonna be way way faster which makes him way glitchier now the difference is is always going to be the uh, dashing dead eye, which I'm not entirely sure if Russell Wilson can even get it because he had a 90 throw pressure. I believe it is a 92. Don't kill me if I'm wrong on that. I don't think Russell Wilson's end game. I don't. I think he's definitely amazing right now. I don't think he's a keeper. I think that either the Mahomes or Lamar that we might be getting in the next two weeks is definitely gonna be better. But Donald, end game. Donald's one of the few guys. Him, the, all the all the defensive linemen and all the offensive linemen, I think are good to go with these guys as far as the rest of the year. And Kittle, obviously. Keekly, you can do what you want with Keekly. I'm not the biggest fan of the Keekly card. I think I'd still rather have my speed. A little bit on the slower side. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope this helps you guys out with your coins. Good to be back, guys. It really is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification boys. Come join the family. Let's get the grind going again. You guys, if you're here, please, let's get this video to 1,000 likes. Everyone's watching right now. Spam the like button. Well, let's get the channel booming again. It'll, it'll, feel, feel great to get things back and going after this long week that I've been gone. And comment down below. Say what's up. Let me know how you guys have been this week. I'm out. See you next video. Peace.